What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Yes, okay, so in our last episode, we went through all of Route 3 and 4, and Mount Moon. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting one, and we had a total of four evolutions, I think? Yeah, that's a pretty good one right there, too. Now, in this episode, we're gonna go through all of Cerulean City, guys. That includes Nugget Bridge, uh the Bill's Cottage, and, uh, yeah, the gym. Yeah, we're gonna do all of it right here, and as mentioned before, the unimportant battles will be held as speed battles. That way, you know, we get through this whole thing quickly. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing right here, so let's go right ahead and move on. So as you guys can see, here we are in Cerulean City, and one of the things that you guys should keep an eye out for is if you go down to the backside right here, press the A button, you'll find yourself another rare candy, Make sure to save that for later on for a, you know, specific Pokemon here and there. Now, if you go right here, I believe, you will talk to this individual, and he's like, I, he's like, I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using a, or using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me, do you have any interest in berries? Yes, I do. Why must you lie to me? How many berries do you have? Not one. Oh, well. When we get our berries, guys, he, he, he'll want to actually help us out and all that stuff. Anywho, if you go right here, you can see that the door is locked because, well, these people were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind the most heinous crime and all that crud. Oh, crud. Even our police force has trouble with the, the rockets. That, that really does suck, and look, he's right there. Okay, so before we do anything, I feel a disturbance in the force. Let's go ahead and put in Sparky right here. And let's go straight to the Nugget Bridge. Yo, Draven! You're still struggling along back there? I'm going great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me show you. Let me, Lord, let me see what you caught, Draven. Caught quite a few Pokemon. All right, bring it on. Here we have Rival Gary, and this is our third battle. And oh crap, Basket's on a crapsicle stick. He has put his Pokemon on steroids. So here we go, Thunder Wave. We're gonna be strategic, guys. Let's go, Sparky. And, oh uh, yeah, crap basket's on a crapsicle stick. It does that. Completely forgot about that. So here we go, Thundershock. That's right, fry this chicken right here. And oh my god. And yes, he is trying to take away our accuracy. Knowing my luck, we're not going to, we're not going to survive the next two uh, turns. So let's go straight to Terramon right here. Now, many of you guys are probably wondering how, like, why do I have so many Pokemon on my team? I want to try them all out, guys. We're gonna be trying out so many Pokemon in this walkthrough. It is gonna be a stupid, very a stupid. And well, here we go, Rock Throw for the win. There goes Pidgeotto. There it is. Okay, alrighty, and we get some more points right here. And bam, Terramon grows to level 14. Alrighty, who's next? He's coming out with a Bulbasaur right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use Tornado right here. And Tornado. Well, let's see, let's see if you survive against this guy. Now, it's at level 18. He did put his Pokemon on steroids just a little bit. Now, Part of this reason here that I'm, yeah, part of the part of the reason why I'm not so over leveled just yet is because, well, I captured a lot of Pokemon. And look at that critical hit. Yes, part of the cards, guys. Believe in that. Part of the cards, and well, there you go. Tornado grows to level 13, and bam. Okay, so he's coming out with an Abra. Let's go. You know what? Let's go with Sparky right here because. This Amber right here will not, uh, it will not attack yet. I don't know why. Yeah, it's at level 16. Don't know why he doesn't want to evolve it or anything like that. So here we go, quick attack. Let's go straight for the physicality right here. Yes, quick attack. That's right. The power of Pikachu compels you right here. Here we go again, quick attack. And just like that, Abra has been defeated. And Sparky has grown to level 13. And, well, he's coming out with a Rattata right here. Let's go with Smasher. That way, he sees that I'm a serious trainer right here. Look at that. Smasher, how's it going? All right. Time to do the double kick right here. 
There we go. And there we go. Say goodbye to Radita. Alrighty. Okay. There it is. And just like that, he's like, hey, take it easy. You won already. Yeah, I'm glad you, you figured that out. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and he and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. I added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's the world's famous, uh, he's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system too. Since you're using a system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Flipping you off, homeboy. Flipping you off. And wait a second, he just saw that. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. And here it is, the fame checker. A chatty gossip like you. That's the that, that thing's perfect. I don't need it. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. All right, this time I really am going. Smell you later. Flipping you off for reals. Okay, so the last episode I mentioned something about rumors and all that stuff. Now this is the item that we were talking about, a device that enables you to recall what you've heard and seen about famous people. As you guys can see, we already have quite a few Pokemon trainers. Daisy, I don't know the reason why she's in here. Even Brock, well, I know why Brock and uh, Oak are here, but Daisy, I don't know, and then Bill. As you guys can see, he he's already talked about the world famous Pokemon and all that stuff. The funny thing is that I've never, ever, ever gotten these, uh, or got completed the fame checker, so that's probably another thing that I kind of want to finish off right here, so... We shall see. So, let's go straight to the uh, the Nugget Bridge, and now we're going to be going into some speed training right here, so we can, uh, so we can actually, uh, yeah, train our Pokemon and get ready for Misty. So, bring it on. Here's Pokemon uh, trainer number one, Bookcatcher Kale. He's coming out with some easy Pokemon right here, and yes, let's go. Let's destroy everybody right here. Peck attack, and here comes another one. There we go. Kakuna, how's it going? And say hello to level 14 right there for Tornado. All right, Kale. That's right. Okay, so here we go, round number two. I'm second, and now I'm serious. Okay. So here we go, taking on Last Alley, and she will be coming out with her Pidgey. All right, Sparky. Sparky, there we go, okay. Now that one's good, and she's coming out with an Oddish, so it looks like to me that we're just gonna be yeah, we're gonna be using both Sparky and Tornado a lot. So she or she comes out with a uh, a Bell Sprout. So let's go right ahead, Peck Attack for the win. That's round number two. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here, and let's go straight for Leonardo and see what he does. Let's go. Here's number three. I won't be easy. Well, let's see what happens. And well, here has youngster Timmy. Coming out with a sand true, I did not predict that one, so let's speed it up right here. Let's go with a water gun for the win, and let's go with a mega kick, and I cannot believe I hit him twice with the mega kick. Okay, let's go with number four. I'm number four, getting tired. Not really. Okay, so here we go, taking on last really, really, Riley. all right, I don't even know how to pronounce that name right there. So here we go, water guns right here for the win. Let's go with Terramon. Terramon, let's go with a rock throw right here. And there we go. Okay, so let's go with number five. Yes, again, I'm going super fast right here. So just to show you guys how to how to actually uh, how to play this right here. And here we have Camper Ethan coming out with his Mankey. Alright. Water guns. For the win. There's level 19 Leonardo, and he's learning bite attack. Let's take away that tail whip right here. And, well, let's see. We have defeated this guy. Now we gotta switch up our Pokemon right now. So, let's see. Where are we? Let's go ahead and go with Smash right here. And talk to this guy. Congratulations! You beat our five contest trainers! You just earned a fabulous prize! And we got ourselves a nugget from the mystery trainer. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Wanna join? Are you sure? Nope. Come on, join us! I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, taking on T 
Team Rocket Mumber, or another Grunt right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, finish her off, or finish this guy off with uh, Smash right here with a few uh, Mega Punches. Look at that. Level 17, coming out with a Zubat. So let's go with Sparky. And just like that, we have defeated this guy. And after defeating this guy, he's going to be like, with your ability, you'd become a top leader at Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think I'm cool with what I'm, what, what I am. And here we found ourselves a TM45 Attract, a very, very good move that can actually work for some Pokemon right here. Now, we gotta switch up our Pokemon. Let's go with Tornado, and let's get right to it. I saw your feet fall from the grass. Did you? Okay, here we have Camper Shane. Coming out with his Rattata. Let's go with a Peck Attack. Fury. Oh, wow. He... Wow, I, I really hate that. I really hate that move. Okay. Let's go. Rock Throw. There you go. And here he comes out with an Ekans. So let's go straight for an, a Smasher. And Mega Punch does the trick. And we have defeated another trainer. That's how you do it. Okay, so... Before we head into, we head into the next route, I will be right back with you guys. Got to heal up my Pokemon. Alrighty, here we are. Let's go for round two. Okay, so here we are going into Route 25, and we're going to have a quite a grip of trainers right here, so make sure to heal up your Pokemon and have them at the appropriate level. And yes, off screen, I did capture myself in Ekans. Completely forgot to put it in the PC and all that crud. And, uh, well, since we have a hiker coming up first, let's go right ahead and speed up this battle. I just can't got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got some gas in the tank. Maybe it's because of those burritos you ate. I don't know. So here it is, guys. Hiker Franklin wants the battle, and he's going to be coming out with his Machop. Should have kept it with the Spiro right there. And there we go. And look at that. Okay, so he's coming out with this Geodude right here. And just like that, we worked very, very hard. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this guy before, you know, all these kids start using their different Pokemon right here. Here we have Hiker Wayne, and he's going to be coming out with his Onyx, so this should be an easy battle right there. As you can see, level 20, and that's how we do it right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's see. You know what? Let's go with Sparky right here. I don't want to use, uh, kind of want to level it up just a tad bit. And local trainers come here to practice. Okay. So, here we go. Taking on Youngster Joey yet again. Holy crud. How many Youngster Joeys are there? And, god dang it. There we go. And, of course, Sparky grows to level 14. And, well, let's go right ahead and take that risk and battle this guy. And, there we go. Yes, we are decent. Wow. <laughs> the comments on these Pokemon are just... It's just interesting, guys. It really is. So let's go ahead and heal up our Sparky right here. And let's go ahead and take on this guy. Dan took me to a great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. Yeah, don't say. Okay. So here we go. Youngster Dan will come in out with his Slowpoke. And this Slowpoke right here is a little bit tanky. Okay. But Sparky grows level 15 and is starting to learn double team. So let's go right ahead and switch it out with with Tail Whip right here. And there we go. Double team for the win. And well, youngster Dan is looking pretty cool. Not anymore, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and switch it out right here. Let's go with Tornado. And let's go ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Is he? Is he really? I've always had that question. Is he really that cool? I don't know. So here comes Kelsey coming out with a Nidoran male. And this is not good because, yes, we just messed ourselves up. So let's go with Smasher. Let's go with a Mega Punch. And thankfully, we cannot get poisoned. So let's try this again. Mega Punch again. Look at that. That wasn't so hard, right? Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right now. There we go, Tornado. Okay, so you're cured, and there is just one more thing we need to do right here. We need to heal this guy up with some potions and all that stuff. And, ooh, nearly bit that one right there. Let's go with Leonardo. See what we got. 
I'm off to the Pokemaniacs collection to at the cave, or to go see the cave. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and battle Nob. And he does have, he does have himself some rock type Pokemon right here, so this will be an interesting battle right here. Look at that. And Machop's coming in. Let's go with Tornado. And bam, just like that, level 15. Nob has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty, so usually when it comes to this guy right here, I like to go stand right here. That way he can get out of the way so we can go pick up that item. And as you guys can see, I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Okay, seriously, what is the importance of that? I don't get it. So here we have Flint coming out with his Rattata. Let's go straight for a water gun and a mega kick. That's right. Versatility is key and well, let's go straight to smash right here. And double kick, mega punch, mega punch again. And look at that, Smasher grows to level 18. And he's like, oh darn. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that last item right there. And here we found ourselves TM43 Secret Power. And that, that actually works on any kind of terrain right here. And let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Um, you know what? Let's go with Terramon. It needs some love. It really does need some love. Okay, let's talk to this guy. And I had a, I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Okay. Bring it on. Here we have Youngster Chad coming out with his Ekans. Let's beat it up. And here he goes. Rocks, rock throws, and level 15. Coming out with his Saiyan True. Let's go with Leonardo right here. And Water Guy for the win. And he knew he'd lose. Okay, so why become a trainer if you knew we were going to lose? You win some, you lose some. And here we have our last trainer. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Okay. All righty. So here we go, taking on last Haley, coming out with an Oddish, and we are at a disadvantage now, so let's go straight to Tornado, and peck it away, there we go, and here comes a Pidgey, so let's go straight to Sparky, Thundershock, wins it, and coming out with an Oddish, Tornado, like these guys are have been the MVPs of this whole, of this whole episode right here, and just like that, we have defeated last Haley, okay. All right, let's go ahead and figure out some more gossip right here. Now, if you talk to these people, this cape is famous uh, is a famous date spot. Misty, the gym leader, has high hopes about this place. And this one right here, hello. You are you here alone? If you're if you're out at the Cerulean Cape or Cerulean's Cape, well, it should be as a couple. It's not that big, but still, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so let's go straight into Bill's cottage, and as you guys can see, there's nothing here except this Pokemon. So you think, and talk to him, he's like, Hiya! I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with the skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here. Sure. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to the PC and run the cell separation system. Now, for the funniest, like the funniest thing, I always talk about this. My first Pokemon version was Pokemon Blue. And again, the internet wasn't that big back then when I had Pokemon Blue. So it was word of mouth on how to figure these things out. And I always seem to leave after Bill goes into the uh, into into the teleporter right here. Never realizing that you have to go into the computer. So it took me like maybe a day or two to actually figure that out. So shout out to my buddy Yamil for helping me out with this one. Well, you know, as a kid, not now. And well, as you guys can see, bam. Bill is out. Okay, what's up Bill? How's it going? It's been a while. Talk to you. Yeehaw! Thanks bud. I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here, maybe this will help. And here we have the SS ticket. Thank you. That cruise ship, the SSN, is a is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. No. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. So. When you step outside, 
and you go back inside right here, you can actually check out his PC for the uh, favorite Pokemon list. And he's got the evolutions, the starting evolution, evolutions right here, like Eevee. There we go. You got Flareon, everybody's favorite evolution. <laughs> Jolteon, how's it going, bud? And Vaporeon right here. Look at that, you see that? Okay. So that's that right there. Now, I'm going to go straight back to the Pokemon Center, guys. I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, training, just a little bit, and then we're going to go straight into the Pokemon uh, gym right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, and uh, we're healed up and ready to go. Okay, so I leveled up Pikachu two more levels just, uh, just for this occasion, okay? We're going to go with our grids. We're going to go with what we got here, okay? Now, I know that we are at a disadvantage right here because, uh, yeah, look at that. We got ourselves Terramon. Learn Magnitude, uh, Smasher, it won't help us, and then Leonardo, of course, is just a Water-type Pokemon. But guess what? We're going to do it with all the grit that we have right here. So we're going to be strategic now. Let's go straight into the TM and see what this is all about. Uh, we do have Bullet Seed, and we do have a Grass-type Pokemon, Oddish, but we are not going to be using that guy. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we could, we could use Thief. It is a, uh, it is a, whatchamacallit, uh, it is a dark type move, and I don't want to use it on Smasher because, let's see, should it be deleted? Uh, should a move be deleted? No, okay, stop trying, yes. Uh, I want to use it, I want to use it with Tornado right here. That way, we can, uh, have a little bit of backup when we go up against Misty's Pokemon right here. So, let's go ahead and take away, uh, Growl, and bam. There we go. It has learned Thief. Now, let's see. I want to use Rock Tomb. Just in case speed becomes an issue. Even though we do have... Uh, what was it called? Uh, we do have Thunder Wave and all that. Because remember, we're taking on Misty's uh, Star You and Star Me. These Pokemon are speedy AF. So, yeah. Alrighty. Time for... Uh, time to do it. Maximum effort. Let's go. Here it is. The Cerulean City Gym. The leader is Misty. The tomboyish Pokemon trainer. And, well, we're going to be going here and talk to the man that, the only man that's ever believed in us. And he's like, yo, gym in the making. Let me give you some advice. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water type Pokemon. You can drain all her water with grass type Pokemon or might use electric type Pokemon to zap them. And as always, you know, Gary's uh, ahead of us and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and start battling everybody. Splash! I'm first up. Let's do it. And you know, the funny thing is that you can actually surf in this water. You may not look like it, but you can. So, here we have Swimmer Luis coming out with a horsey. And, uh, well, let's go with, straight, with a straight-up Thundershock. Now, I mentioned this at the very first episode, guys. Yes, I am going to be trading Pokemon. Uh, I will be trading some specific Pokemon to actually help us out and Pokemon such as you know Torpedo You know our good old buddy Torpedo from Pokemon Crystal We will be trading it so we can get it to evolve into a Kingdra in this version right here, too. I Kind of have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do when we go into Pokemon Emerald Like I said before guys starting this game up early that way we, uh, you know, we get ahead of the curve against Pokemon Emerald because, well, kind of want to trade. We want to trade both games. And just like that, we have defeated another swimmer. Alrighty, bring it on. Who's next? What? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Wow. These people are cocky AF and all that stuff. So, here we have Diana coming out with Goldeen. And let's go with Sparky right here. And, well, let's go straight for Thundershock attack. And just like that. Oh, my God. Doesn't defeat it. But here comes a Supersonic. That, thankfully, did not hit. So, here we go. A Thundershock for the win. Not for the win. And, oh, uh, gravy. Okay. So, Goldeen is being a dick right now. So, let's go straight for a Thundershot. Come on. Please hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. And crap baskets. Okay. So, that right there is a big, big, uh... It's a big no-no right there. So, 
I am not going to risk it since Sparky's defense is not that great. Let's go straight for Tornado. And here we go, Tornado, what's up? Tail Whip, again. And let's see if this Pokemon actually has some items right now. And here we go with the Thief Attack. And nope. Yeah, we're just giving this Pokemon Trainer like... Yeah, we're giving this trainer just the ability to beat us and all that crud, so there we go. We have defeated her, and both our Pokemon go and gain a little bit of levels, and look at that, Tornado. Goes level 16, Diana does not like it, and uh, yes. Okay, so, let's see. I wonder if I, yes, I have two more potions, but I bought, I stocked up on some regular potions right here too, guys, just in case. All right, I'm gonna save this game because I do not want to get my butt kicked. And yes, I do have 22 Pokemon, so they, we're, we're getting ahead of the curve right now. All right, maximum effort. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train a Pokemon? My policy is an all out offensive with water type Pokemon. I love this song, I really do. Okay, so here it is guys, gym battle number two. We're taking on Misty. So, let me correct something right here. When you're taking on Misty, she does have a Staryu and a Starmie. Staryu is not a Psychic type Pokemon just yet, but once it evolves into Starmie, it does gain that capability and it, yeah, it is, a, uh, it is a real messed up situation if you try and take it on like that. So, let's go right ahead and Thundershock this Pokemon right here. And that right there gives it a good spark, and... Well, this Pokemon is hardening. So, I think I know what to do right here. Let's double team. I don't think the... Okay, I think Starmie is the only Pokemon that does have that move, too. And that is the... Okay, so that right there is kind of messed up, too, because, yeah, these two Pokemon do have uh, Recover. But what I'm, I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get this Pokemon to... Yeah, max out its stat right here with uh, evasiveness. It's the all Pikachu show. We're gonna be messing these Pico these Pokemon up. And uh, there we go. Oh my God, Water Pulse! Oh my God! And that right there hurts us. It hurts us a lot. So, ah, God, gravy. Okay, so let's use one more potion right here. And uh, damn it! Okay, so. Oh god, we're wasting, yeah, we're wasting, uh, oh crap baskets, okay, so we're wasting our, our potions right here. Please, please, please don't hit it, please. And, damn it, okay, so, yeah, we kinda, yeah, we're kinda SOL right here. Let's go with a Thundershock, come on, come on. And, ball sack, okay. And, yes, that water pulse has missed, so... That is a good sign, kind of. So let's go ahead and heal up our Sparky right here. And this Water Pulse. God dang it. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Thundershock, come on. Let's get it. And here comes the Thundershock. And just like that, we have... Yes, you are paralyzed, my friend. Okay, so let's go another Thundershock. Come on. Let's go, Sparky. God dang it. And, okay, so we have to heal up our Pokemon yet again. And we're kind of risking this Pokemon to actually, you know, do a little bit of a... Yeah, okay, so there we go. Let's get it, Thundershock. And, yes, we have snapped out of our uh, little <laughs> confusion. And, oh, nearly defeats Staryu. And there is a recovery right there. Okay. Try it one more time. Here is the spark, and oh crap baskets, here we go. Water, water pulse does not work. And Misty being the you know what, <laughs> yeah, recovering, yeah, this is this is messed up. And that right there was a critical hit, so this Pikachu is, uh, <laughs> is like, I want to win. I'm going to win, and there you go, it has won. Okay. And there you go. Sparky grows to level 18. And here comes Starmie. Now this Pokemon right here, it is a very fast, 
very interesting Pokemon, and it... Oh, god dang it. Oh, crap, baskets. Come on. Okay, so... It was saved right there. Okay, so you are now paralyzed, my star... My star me friend. And there we go. We gained a little bit of the uh, points right there. And good gravy! Somebody forgot to tell me to add Spark. God, or, or freaking Swift. And... There we go. Come on, stay paralyzed, and oh my god. So, the AI knew that I was going to do that, so let's go straight to Leonardo right here. Alright, Leonardo. Bite attack. Now that it's a, a psychic type Pokemon, we do have this capability. And I do expect Misty... Nope. Just like that, we defeated it. Okay, so, there you go. Pure grit, guys. Pure grit. And because of that, Leonardo grows to level 22. And, uh, we have defeated Misty. Wow, you're too much. All right. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. All righty, okay. I am throwing out that peace sign, guys. Look at that. The Cascade Badge uh, makes all the Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM, and here we have, guys, the TM-03, which teaches Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. And uh, I'm sorry to say that, yeah, that's the only thing, that's the only dialogue she says right there. Anywho, let's see what this guy has to say. You beat Misty! See what I tell you! You and me, kid, we make a pretty darn good team. Not really, I kind of, kind of... Kind of knew how to defeat her and all that stuff. So, yeah. Look at that, guys. Two badges, five episodes. I think I like the way I, I'm doing things right here. I hope many of you guys are. So there it is, guys. Two badges right there. And, uh... Let's see. Hmm. You know what? Let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're healed up, and we got one more thing to do before, you know, we finish off this episode. And that is, go inside this house right here, because it has been ransacked. As you guys can see, look at that. It was a bad, bad thing right here. And this guy is like, those miserable rockets! Look what they've done to my house! They stole a TM from teaching the Pokemon how to dig holes! I was going to use it on my Mankey or Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle that it did. Oh god, okay. And that is a big gaping hole right there. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And, uh... Let's go ahead and take care of business right here, okay? Talk to this guy and he's like, Hey, stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander! Don't you believe me? Okay. So, here we go, taking on Team Rocket Grunt, and he's going to be coming out with his Machop. And, well, Tornado. Let's get this going. We predicted this. Let's go right ahead with a Peck Attack. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Focus Energy right here, so... I think I know what we're going to be doing right here, so here we go. Peck Attack again. And here comes a Low Kick. That right there depends on the Pokémon's weight. Thankfully, you know... Yeah, thankfully that... Our Pokemon weighs less than, you know, weighs less than everything. So, here we go. He's coming out with a, uh, a Psychic-type Pokemon. So, we're going to go straight to Leonardo right here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to bite our way out of here. So, let's go right ahead and go with a Withdraw. And, well, dig it. Okay, so he's going to try and disable us and all that stuff. So, let's go again. Bite attack for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another Team Rocket Grunt. And, well, he will give up and all that stuff. Okay, so after defeating this Team Rocket member... Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. And we will be getting a TM-28, which is Dig. And, uh, well, that concludes our little episode right there. Okay. Uh, here's a little funny dialogue right here, too. Talk to this guy, he's like, I figured what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Okay, you see, that right there, that right there is why you wasted a little bit of money. 
I'm just being modest. Anywho, this has been the episode, guys. Episode 5. Got two badges. In the next episode, we're going to be taking... Uh, let's see. What's the next route right here? We're going to be taking the route. Let's go to Tia. Let's go to the town map. So the next route we're going to be going to is Route 5. Taking the underground path to get to Route... So let's see. Route 6. And then headed over to Vermilion City. So what's going to happen is... We're going to go straight to those two routes and then to Vermilion City into the SSN. And then from there, we're going to do a lot of activities. Uh, I can't wait to, go, to get to Vermilion City because there is a special item there that can actually help us with our training. So keep an eye out for that one right there. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being patient and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red next week. And yeah, it's going to be very, very fun. So thank you guys again for watching. Uh, before it happens, Merry Christmas to every single one of you guys out there in YouTube land. Hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week after Santa gives us our presents. See you guys.